Greetings, I'm Chevalier and this is a small channel update. This is mostly going to focus on the initial situation series. Mainly I want to switch the initial situation from being uh, 3 countries per week to uh, 1 country per week and to it more efficient and more structured uh, so that I won't actually have it so... not actually rant that much during the episodes there. Uh, We'll see how the the series goes. You will might you'll have an episode this weekend, uh, the next weekend actually. You already have the Serbian by now, I think. No, you'll have the Serbian uh, uh, initial situation in about uh, I don't know an hour from you no know, probably less than probably in ten minutes since this episode was posted. The uh, this uh, small talk was posted basically. Uh, but yeah, I want to switch it to a more advanced version. But it will require more time. I want to play around 15 hours of gameplay on each nation to show you, uh, to not show you, to for me to actually pull a more uh, more efficient way for you to play those nations. Especially when you're talking about those big nations as France, as England, where the minute details really matter, uh, like uh, whom you attack, uh, whom you ally, uh, the the actual uh, chances that you might actually have in the early game, for example, somebody might rival you, like Burgundy might not rival you, what do you do in this situation, do you ally Burgundy, you do not ally Burgundy, although Burgundy usually rivals France, but it's possible for Austria, for example. There are also some changes to the Burgundy hand as event there, so that is uh, problematic there as well. Plenty of options there that I'll actually want to bring more of those in. Uh, other than this, uh, college is really killing me. I have uh, an exam on Monday, I'll enter uh, another week of exams, uh, probably one or two from 10th or 12th December until like 18th that week there. Like, I don't know what the week it is, but yeah, that week I'll be also busy. So you might not see the, the situation this uh, next week or the week after you'll see it. It depends on how much warlock, warlock, uh, sorry, how much warlock, god fucking damn it, sorry, how much workload I have uh, at school, at uh, college, uh, sorry, at college, at work, uh, and at home, depends uh, on this. Also, uh, the two series are gonna be over, uh, like the, the Templar, the Avengers of the Templars and Judge of the East are gonna be over. Uh, after those series are over, I'm just gonna go into one series and I'm gonna sh bring you two episodes per week of those series simply because uh, it's more enjoyable for me to be honest but to actually play uh, like 8-10 hours of a, of a series on a, on a weekend day for example, just go balls deep and play one week you know, one week uh, make, uh, I don't know 30 episodes in one weekend basically like go like a madman like I used to play when I was uh, when I, I used to play like U, U3 basically like a, like a madman played for days at the end and it's, it's really enjoyable for me to do this and I cannot do it if I have two series that I have to take care of like I have to switch from one series to another uh, I don't want to play the second series because I enjoy the first series and uh, you see uh, you, you I just enjoy this uh, not repetitive, uh, this continuity basically on a, on a campaign. This will also allow me to bring a more efficient campaign because I do not have to actually switch between series and have to stop. I will just play continuously and I'll have the, the best options at hand. Other than this, uh, what you see on the screen, which I've probably started with this, is the Ottoman campaign that I was I talked about in previous episodes or initial situations there. As you can see, I've hit the New World like a couple of years ago, probably by 18 something, 18, 18, 14, 18, perhaps. Uh, and I have tons of manpower. I have like, I don't think I have mercs anymore. Yeah, I don't have mercs anymore, ideally, but I have like 15 mercs. That allowed me to have a decent manpower. Uh, there's a couple of, as I said before, that's why I entered this uh, in situations. Like, there are some things that you only know if you actually play this, the nation several times. For example, I rarely use, as the Ottomans, I rarely use the mercenaries, but I found out that I, I can actually sustain mercenaries, and quite a lot of them if I'm actually careful of how I use my troops and how I use some loans there, and that was gonna allow you to have more manpower and uh, 
allow me to uh, expand really fast. And as you can see here, I expanded quite fast at uh, no cost from Manpower. Like Manpower is almost full. But also, it at the cost of uh, this expansion, as you can see here. A uh, couple of coalitions, a couple of more coalitions there. I haven't lost it, friends, though. As you can see here. Quite proud of it. Oh, also, there's an. Uh, Oh no, it's escaped. Or is it another campaign? Oh yeah, Castile and Aragon. Aragon has a PO over Castile. Quite nice. But yeah, plenty of uh, nice options there. Uh, but yeah, hope to hope to you like this new change. If you don't like it, just tell me about it in the comments. Dude, I don't like this. Uh, dude, like I'm like a surfer guy. But I don't like this. I don't enjoy it. Uh, please change it. Please go to the to the to the old ways. Uh, but I have only 30 subscribers here. I mean, I see that some of you actually show up in my videos, so post in the comments if you want to see more of this stuff. Uh, more of this stuff, uh, more actually more of this uh, short box that I do, or a channel update uh, over every other week perhaps, or every week, depends on how you want it. Or if you want me to switch to the for, uh, former method of uh, doing the intro situations with three countries per week but at this rate I'm probably gonna run out, out of countries or any countries that are big enough for me to actually talk about them because at some point you're gonna remain with uh, I don't know most of these things are oh we are gonna remain with Bastar if this or Chanda here like I remain with those these small guys like uh, to to Bhutan here I'm gonna remain with just Bhutan like if I go with three countries per week uh, although I mean, Bhutan has quite a nice uh, nice start. I played it before. It's a little bit tricky to expand, but if you ally, if you kill uh, Maskar here, and they have quite a lot of development in the early start in uh, Makasakar here, and if you move this and ally with uh, with this guy here, it's doable. And then you can actually ally uh, ally uh, Sunda here and attack Majapajit. If you have the necessary navy, it's doable. I mean, sorry. It's double. I played it before, and it's tricky. But it's, again, yeah, sorry about this. It's difficult. Uh, I'll say that is Valachia difficult, and not Valachia difficult. A little bit lower. I mean, you're not targeted. You can expand quite easily. You have the feudalism. I haven't checked it. Yeah, you have. Uh, yeah, feudalism. Yeah, yeah, it's doable. Sorry, my bad. I truly really bad. So yeah. It's not Valachia. It's, uh, I'll say, uh, I'll say Bosnia difficulty or Serbia difficulty. There we go. Something on those lines. But yeah, uh, let's, let's stop the run here. I'm talking too much. Hopefully you'll enjoy these new changes. And if you enjoy these changes, just post it in the comments. And if you don't, I'm willing to switch the, them to the, the previous versions. Yeah, I'm Shivali. And I'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.